Sure, I work uh, with the Native American Guardians Association and I manage their social media and do project management for them. Gotcha. I'm a okay. volunteer. You said you're a volunteer? Absolutely. Got it. Uh, so, Tony, you're part of this organization that created this petition to change the Washington Commander's name back to the Washington Redskins. I see you with all the Redskins gear. Why is that so important to you? I uh, was born and raised a Redskins fan. Went to every game from 1975 to 1992. I have always been a Redskins fan. Uh, but when I moved away from the area of D.C., the way that I connected back to D.C. was through the Redskins. So when in July of 2020, when they decided to change the name, uh, a part of me died. It really hurt. And uh, for the last three years, just milling over that, actually two years, I, I just looked and said, there's something that should be done. And I reached out to the Native American Guardians Association, and I learned of, of, of the overwhelming 90% majority of Native Americans. And I, I just thought I could use my skills to help them grow their message. And so since about December of last year, I've been working hand in hand with the, the board of directors and uh, working on their social media and, and organization. And just for the record, you're not Native American yourself, are you? No, I'm not. No, so, I'm not. So, Tony, you're not Native American, but you're trying to be the voice of Native Americans. So explain to me more why do you feel like Native Americans will embrace this Redskins name more than the ones that feel like it's offensive? Well, 90 it's, it's document. You can go back to 2004 Annenberg study, 90% uh, there uh, that were polled uh, love the name Redskins. Okay. It was repeated again in 2016 by the Washington Post. No friend by the way, to the name Redskins. And again, they came up with a 90% approval of Native Americans. These are independent polling agencies using polling science, making sure that they adjust their uh, polling data to census bureaus. And they are 100% lock, stock, and barrel showing that Native Americans love the name Redskins. And in 2019, they tried again the Washington Post. And in 2019, they asked, 40 different views or words of, of what do you think when you hear the word redskin? And the one most often responded back was proud. This is their feelings. To me, it's fe it seems to me that we should be listening to the Native Americans on the subject and not listening to the 10% or the, the minority that do not feel like the 90%. The 90% are quite offended mm. that people don't think that they are smart enough to have an opinion that may not equate with what the cancel culture is doing out there. Do you feel like if there is just 10% that actually feels offensive, that we should actually respect their feelings because I, there oh, are absolutely. people almost like if you Everybody. have doubt, leave it out. No, no, no. If, if 90%, there's 10 people and nine of them, you're, you're making mad by pulling away their history and taking away their culture. This is what's going on across America, mm -hmm. in New York State, in Colorado, three organ th three different high schools in, in Michigan uh, just recently. The Chiefs, the Braves, the Warriors, the Flaming Arrows, mm -hmm. all of these different Native American names and imagery are being eradicated. They're being canceled. Darren, this is very offensive to the vast majority of Native Americans. It's okay to, to disagree. Mm -hmm. we, we're, we live in a majority rural society, not a mob rule. And to require that 100% of anybody agree on anything, hell, we can't agree You know what, what to have for dinner. We can't agree on anything. And 90% is a super majority. You have more than 60,000 60, signatures on this petition, uh, you sent a letter to Josh Harris, the owners of the Washington Commanders. Do you think you guys are going to hear get any get any kind of response from the new owners on this? Well, we hope so. I mean, we've we've been waiting and listening, and we've tried to reach out numerous times ever since they decided to change the name. We've made press releases, and we've been ignored. And what we found from the sixty-two thousand people so far that have signed it is that they all feel the same. 
They want to honor Native Americans. They feel the same way that Native Americans do and just don't understand how these people could be ignored and how their voices be ignored. And, you know, I take Josh Harris and his ownership group to be excellent businessmen. I take uh, Mitchell Rails and, and what he's done uh, with Gladstone is wonderful in the D.C. area. He has a wonderful attorney. And they all say, we really need to look at this. We need to we need to see both sides of the equation. And that's all we're asking. What we're asking is let's sit down. Let's have a working group together. Look at the facts, understand it and make the right decision and bring resolution to the issue. Because if there's no resolution, as we're seeing with all these people that are signing the petition, they're not bringing back those those fans and they're not bringing back those people in a positive light with this organization. How is all of this being funded? You know, I, I've looked at the website and stuff like that. Where, how is all this, uh, where's the money coming from to support this cause? Volunteers. Hmm. We are a volunteer organization. It, it, it's that simple. Uh, is there, are there some donations? Yes, and you can go to educate.eradicate.org mm -hmm. and make a donation. Uh, but the low average donation, it's a very low average donation. Gotcha. Like I said, I'm I'm here out of the goodness of, of what I think is right for the Native Americans. I'm not here with it with any request for money or anything personal. Have you had any personal conversation with a Native American? And if so, describe how they felt and what they said. Uh, it's overwhelming. Everybody that I talk to wants the name back and thinks it's an honor and is upset and offended by not having the name Redskins. Redskins is a Redskin warrior. It's an adjective. It describes the Northeast Indians and their tradition of painting their face, of using the blood root plant and protecting them against battle, mm -hmm. in battle, protecting them as, as, and, and smearing that paint all over. That's a Redskin warrior. Red, Redskins is also a self-identifying, identifying name that's been used since the 1800s for Native Americans. They see that as, and that's documented as well. They don't look at it as a slur. Just because somebody changed a definition and then argues what it isn't, doesn't make it a slur. They don't believe it, they don't, they don't understand it, and quite frankly, they're fed up with it. So between you and all the other Native Americans that you have spoken to, that's part of this group, trying to change the name back to the Washington Redskins. Why do you feel previous owner Dan Snyder and the Washington football team at that time really got rid of the name Redskins? That's a great question. And, and, and I think Don Van Atta had a very good article on it. In, in ESPN, there was issues between the, the ownership, which uh, you know, I won't comment on here. All I know is that the name was appalling. And it wasn't because of what the Native Americans felt and they never contacted the Native American guardians uh, to be able to refute whatever they were, they were finding and whatever they decided. It was swept away as a pawn in, in, a, in a bigger scheme. So what's the next step for you guys, for your organization? Because you, ha you have a lot of signatures right now. Well, I think we're just getting started. I think this has become a national movement. I think people are looking at this and saying, cancel culture is wrong. Canceling Native Americans and eradication of them is wrong. This is popping up all over. People felt helpless, and they're looking for something to tie to. They're looking for a cause. And we're getting support from across all walks of life, all, walk, all different types of people. And we just ask that you go and sign the petition. You go to educatenoteradicate.org and become a NAGA warrior. Register with our site. And let's see what, how many signatures we can really get. Tony, I, I appreciate your time. Obviously, this is a big discussion with fans and, and uh, you know, who now new ownership and they kind of want to bring back the past on during the good days of, of uh, the NFL in regards to it being in Washington, D.C. So well, I really appreciate your time. Hopefully glory days will come again with Redskins. Thank you, Darren. Thank you.